Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So yes, you read the title correctly. Monday would be exactly one year ago when I first started wood turning. Sawdust everywhere! Mustard piece. So exactly one year ago I bought my lathe and before I started anything I went for this free wood turning session that was three hours and this one was the first project that I completed ever. So today I am going to make something that tests my absolute limits when it comes to wood turning. So I designed this piece in like three weeks on and off. This is a crazy one. Let's go downstairs and I am going to see how much I developed in one year and we can compare the final result to the first one I ever made. All right, let's start this thing. I have the leaf and I have the wood. Let's get to it. So first thing first, let me show you the design. This part is a base and this part is a hexagonal plate. Every corner of a hexagonal plate will be grabbed by a ring and from the base six arms reaching out so every ring of the hexagonal plate will be able to connect with each of these arms. Simple! So I have a beautiful chestnut burr so I am going to make the hexagonal plate from this one and I really hope this thing will come out as I want it to be. So what have I done in the last 12 months? So basically I have completed 53 projects, all of them uploaded on my YouTube channel and uh, that is basically one project a week plus one. My projects are usually very difficult, so to complete a project and upload the video and edit the video is usually take me a week. Okay, it's looking good. I'm gonna send it up. So I have learned a very important thing when it comes to woodworking and basically anything in life. Attitude is just as important than having the right skills. As a matter of fact, sometimes with a good attitude you can overcome not having the right skills. I'm not claiming that I know the techniques or I have the right chisel work. It's actually far from that. But I definitely have the right attitude to do this game. If I have to send a little bit longer, I'm fine with that. But I am going to send every single tool marks out. Okay, the plate is done, looking good. In the next step, I am going to make the rings. Six of these. So since I have started wood turning, I also learned a very important thing about myself that I didn't previously know. I am actually extremely good at thinking outside the box. And just remember, one good idea can always change the game. That's all I wanted to say and now let's just get back to the project.
Rings are done. Now I am going to make the balls. Six of these. So try to understand my point of view. This is in my head right now is perfect. I don't know how it will come out, but this piece, what I just designed has the potential to be my best work yet. I don't want to be disappointed. I want it to be perfect, but perfect is difficult. Let's, uh, let's continue. Okay, the base is glued together, now I will start to shape it. I know I'm editing this video fairly quickly. This is a huge project, I have to cut it back. So now I'm going to make the six arms. That is actually made of two identical larger rings. So really simple stuff, quick montage. I know even now this is going to be a nightmare to glue together. When I edit the video it will look like a walk in the park but believe me this is going to be crazy difficult. It's probably going to take more than a day. <sighs> Let's get to it.
So I put these in, literally just push them in without gluing. And these line up fairly well. And hopefully everything will be difficult. <laughs> yeah, it will be difficult. <laughs> So it is not permanently glued on, every second is glued on, I'm going to take this one off. Mustard piece.